BBG was written to try to teach Greek on its own. Because the more that I can help students learn outside the class, the more time is available in class for the professor, It's the idea. With the third edition and with the CD going away and it being replaced by everything on the website, uh, I have more and more opportunities to help students learn this stuff outside of the classroom and free up the teacher to do what the teacher loves to do the best, interact with the students. This has given me a chance to move from audio lectures to video lectures, and that's what I'm doing right now, and I'm really excited about it. Because it's just another tool that I can present to people to say, let me help you get the data across. Let me help you learn the guts and free up again the, the precious classroom time for the professor to talk about the things that only he or she can do. I introduced some new areas in the textbook too that are really important. I've started putting section overviews before each section. In just two pages, I can kind of give them an idea of what's coming up. And so when they actually get into the chapters, it's not like, man, I don't know anything in this chapter. Every chapter has a halftime review. Almost every chapter has a halftime review now. So, you know, you, let's say there's 15 things in this chapter to learn, and you get halfway through it, and it's got, you got quite a bit of data in your head. Well, let's stop and look. And I put a new section on the end of most of the chapters called Exegesis. Even if you don't make them learn the terms, uh, I think that the students will, will say, oh, that's why I'm learning this language. What I did in BBG3 was make even more allowances for pronunciation differences. Um, I say right in the book, you know, this is, this is the standard pronunciation. It may not be right. Um, there are other ways that people will want to speak in Greek. And so, especially for teachers who want to use more of a modern pronunciation, BBG3 really opens it up. The professor has the alternate pronunciations in the margin. Uh, there's a download link for a replacement chart of the pronunciations with modern pronunciations. When it comes to the workbook, I encourage people to go to the Technia website because I've listed out exactly all the changes in the workbook. The big thing though in the workbook is I added two optional uh, exercise chapters. You get through all this work in Greek, you've been memorizing all these paradigms. Where's the fun in it? <laughs> so I give them Second John and it's kind of in my graded reader format. And so they can actually work through Second John and when they're done they can say, I read a whole chapter of the Bible in Greek. I mean, it, it's really kind of a blast for them. It's a way to say, oh, that's why I put all this work in. This is what it is to read the book of Greek.